Hey everybody, this is Betsy. Thanks so much for joining me here on the Greedery YouTube channel. Today I'll be showcasing a new set that we have coming to the shop as part of our 2022 holiday collection. The set I'm featuring today is called Heaven and Nature Sing. And then we'll also be using a small sentiment stamp set called Sing a Song of Christmas and then also a die set called Noted. So the stamp and stencil set is a four by six set um, comes with some sentiments, small little berry clusters, and accents for the treble clef. There are also three stencils included in this set, and they will just make this, the multi-step stencil and stamp a whole lot easier. And then there's also a printed full color guide. The matching die has a base for the decorative treble clef, and then also the treble clef detail, along with some tiny leaf details that can be added. Those can also be stenciled as well, which you'll see a little bit later in the video. And then there's also some small little uh, greenery and flower clusters that can be used to accent your sentiments. So we're going to be putting together two cards today. I'm going to be starting off with an A2 panel of cardstock and the stencil that has the little flowers and berries. There is an etched outline on the stencil, so just go ahead and line that up with your A2 panel. And I'm going to be using some Festive Berries ink and a sponge dauber to just stencil all of those little bits and pieces. There are etched outlines on the stencil. If you want to stencil this design onto um, the backer die that's included in the die set, but for today's for this project, I'm going to be just stenciling it onto my panel. So now I'm moving on to step two, which is the leaves. So I'll just go ahead and again make sure that's all lined up. The etched outline is lined up with my panel. I'm going to be using iced spruce. To stencil those leaves. Now I'm going to be putting my panel into my MISTI and I'm going to take the multi-stem um, greenery detail stamp from the sheet of stamps which is this one right here. It's this large cluster of different greenery and I'm going to use my guide to kind of help me align that image where that needs to go. You'll, you should be able to see kind of where the berries and the stems meet up and the little flower centers should line up with your stenciled flowers. So I'm going to be using Versafine Claire in Rainforest to stamp this step. So I'm setting my stamping aside for now and I'm moving on to the die cut. I'm just using the detail treble clef from the matching die set for this card. I'm not going to be using the larger out the backer die that cuts the entire greenery and everything. Um, I'm going to be just using the detail part of that. And I'm sponging this with some hickory smoke ink. I'm trying to be careful not to add too much ink to those little leaves on the ends, although I, I did get some on there, which is okay, because I'm going to be adding some green ink to those using the matching stencil. So this stencil set can be layered over the top of this detail die and lets you just add some color to the leaves. There are also tiny little leaf die cuts included in the die if you'd rather add them that way instead. So you can see how that step just added a little bit of greenery to those leaves. Now I'm going back to my stamped and stenciled panel that's still here in my MISTI and I'm going to be adding this die cut treble clef to my design and you should be able to see where everything just kind of lines up and you can use your printed guide as a reference to just help you line that all up as well. So now we're gonna move on and stamp the sentiment. I'm once again going to refer to my guide to help me position the sentiments uh, where they go in kind of relation to this treble clef design. Sentiment is broken down into pieces so that you can stamp things in multiple colors. Um, world and the flourishes is one stamp. So I'm going to start with that and just, again, refer to my guide to help me position that. I'm again going to use Rainforest ink for this step. And then I'll take the second step to that sentiment, which is the joy to the, and I'll position that. And I'm going to stamp that with some festive berries. Now you can see we have a very simple basically one layer card except for the die cut and you can go ahead and just leave it as is so it's a great set for mass producing things or if you would want to add more embellishments and layers you can of course 
do that as well. For my next project, I'm going to be combining that pretty treble clef from the Heaven and Nature Sing with some other new products we have coming your way. I'm going to be pairing it with the Noted die set. Noted has a pretty curved music staff along with a treble clef and several different notes. And then also I'm going to be using a sentiment from the A Song of Christmas stamp set, which is just a mini set, contains several different one-line uh, phrases from some of our favorite Christmas songs. Uh, they are curved to fit underneath the curve of the staff in the noted die. So I have a treble clef created. I basically used the same process that I showed previously, except for I did the stamping and stenciling onto the matching outline backer die instead of doing it right on directly onto my panel. So that way I have this pretty image all die cut. I'm going to be combining it with the staff from the noted die. I cut that from some silver cardstock. This is like a mirror silver cardstock. And then I also die cut the noted elements from a red cardstock. So I'm gonna have some pretty red notes on my staff. And I'm just gonna play around with the arrangement of those a little bit. For the sentiment, I stamp the we wish you a Merry Christmas onto red cardstock and I heat emboss that. I have a little tip for you in how you can die cut these sentiments into kind of a nice little sentiment strip. I wanted to kind of layer that over top of my staff. There is not a coordinating die for these sentiments, but you can use the staff from the noted die. So I'm going to go ahead and just position that right over the top of my stamped and heat embossed sentiment. And I'm going to use a little washi tape to secure that while I run it through my die cut machine. So now you see how I have a nice edge along the top of that sentiment and I need one along the bottom as well. So I'm going to take that die once again and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of the sentiment. And then I'll run it through my machine one more time. So now you can see I have top and bottom die cut and then I'm just going to snip that out of there. And if I want to, I can take a scissors and just add some notched ends. So now I have this cute little banner, die cut banner that I can layer over the top of my design. And I'm just gonna play around with arrangement until I'm happy with how everything is situated. And then I'll just glue everything down and we'll be all set to go. I also just wanna add a little bit of dimension to my banner. So I just gave that a little bit of a curve and I'll add some adhesive down here at the end so it kind of pops up a little bit. I also decided I wanted to add a couple of the little flower clusters from the set around my staff and sentiment as well. So I stamped a few of those onto the matching die cuts in the same colored inks and I'm just going to add those around there as well. Thanks so much for joining me, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this look at some new products coming to the shop as part of our 2022 holiday collection called A Song of Christmas. The products introduced today will be available beginning on Friday, October 7 at 10 a.m. Eastern Time from thegreetery.com.